Hi class, so we'll uh, continue uh, with the unit and now we'll look at geometric sequences. Um, so the first thing we'll, we'll talk about is um, where you have a sequence um, given by this equation. So I just want to go through all the terms here. Okay, so um, here Tn is the general term or the nth term. T1 is the first term and R is the common ratio. Okay, so when we talk about, um, a, a, and n is any uh, number. So when we talk about um, a geometric sequence, what's going on is you have a sequence of numbers that are uh, related to one another by being, um, uh, being a sequence that's uh, created by the same uh, same rate of change. Okay, so like for example, in example one, here you've got 10 bacteria present and uh, and then the numbers uh, increase by cell division. So if you remember your cell, your cell biology, uh, when we say a cell divides, uh, one cell becomes two cells. Okay, so um, here what we're being asked is determine the general term and um, that relates the number of bacteria to the doubling period of the bacteria, right? So if we start with 10, uh, then we would get to 20, 40, 80, and, and so on, okay? So that's, that's your, uh, that's your uh, geometric sequence, okay? So notice how each one is off by a factor of 2. So let's go through the... Uh, terms here. So the first term uh, is what we call T1. Okay. Um, R. Okay, so R is your uh, the common ratio. Uh, one way you can find R is if you find um, a specific term within the sequence and you divide it by uh, the previous term. Okay, so like if I, it doesn't matter which one, but if I wanted to use 40, then I would divide that by the previous uh, term, which is 20, which is going to be 2. So your common ratio here is 2. So R is 2, T1 is 10, and now you can write out the general expression here, which is going to be Tn equals 10. Okay, so that's T1. And then um, R is going to be 2 to the power of n minus 1. So this is where it ties into what we've been looking at with exponential functions, right? Because there's your, there's your exponent. So what this allows you to do now is instead of me just writing out the sequence and keep doubling, um, if I were asked, you know, what's the, um, what's the hundredth term going to be, then what I would do is I'd put 100 in for n and then uh, go 100 minus 1 and then 2 to the power of 99 whatever that is, multiply it by 10. Okay, let's look at another one. In a, uh, example two here. So in a geometric sequence, the third term is 54, and the sixth term is negative one, uh, 1,458. So notice here that our, our terms can be negative uh, as well. Um, so determine the first term and the common ratio. List the first three terms of the sequence. Okay, so what we what we are given here is we're told what the uh, what the uh, third term is. Okay, so the third term is is equal to fifty four, and we're told the sixth term, so t six, is equal to negative one thousand four hundred fifty eight. Okay, and so that's all. Uh, uh, that's all we're, we're told. Okay, so what we have to do is now we have to uh, write the expressions for, for both T3 and T6. Okay, so remember the general equation here um, is Tn equal to T1rn minus 1. Okay, so that's your, your general equation. Okay, so let's, let's work off of uh, T3. So for T3 is equal to 54, we don't know what T1 is, and we don't know what R is, but we know it's the third term, so it's 3 minus 1. So this is going to be 54 
is equal to T1 R squared. Okay, and so if we if we uh, isolate that for T1, then T1 is equal to um, 54 divided by R squared. Okay, so you can't solve something when there's two things you don't know. So I don't know what T1 is and I don't know what R is. So I can't get the answer for that, but I'll come back to that. Okay, now let's do the same thing for T6. Okay, so here it's negative 1,458 is equal to uh, T1 and r to the power of 6 minus 1. Okay, r to the power of 5. So now what you can do, this is called a substitution. You did this, um, uh, whoops, I don't know why I put that r that equal there. Um, what you can do here is you can uh, use substitution. Uh, this is t1, and so what we're going to do is we're going to put that in for T1 of the other equation. It doesn't have to be this way. You could have done the reverse. Okay, and so that's going to give you uh, negative 1458 is equal to 54 over R squared times R to the power of 5. Okay, and so this is going to be um, negative 1458 equal to 54 r cubed. Okay, so let's uh, let's solve for r. So r cubed is going to equal negative 1,458 over 54. So what you do is you you divide that, and then you take uh, you take the cube root uh, of both of the, uh, both of these, and what you're going to get is r is equal to negative 3. Okay, so r is equal to negative 3. So now we have um, we have r. And so because we have r, now we can find out what, uh, what uh, t1 is. Okay, so like um, we can just use, uh, we can use this equation over here, t1 equals 54 over r squared. It doesn't have to be this one, it could be the other equation as well. So t1 is going to equal uh, 54 divided by uh, divided by uh, negative 3 squared and that's going to give you 6 okay so t1 is 6 r is negative 3 so using those two now you can you can come up with your sequence so you've got they were asking for the first three terms of the sequence so the first one is 6 and then times that by negative 3 which is going to be negative 18, and then times that by negative 3, which is going to be 54. Okay, and so those are, those are your first three, three terms. Okay, so I'll stop here, and you can work on the uh, corresponding uh, questions.